Now that you're familiar with the various controls, let's jump into some demos and see what SoundSoap 2 can do. Let's start with a simple example that contains just a single type of noise. This is a music recording from a cassette that contains a prominent hiss. First, let's listen to the file with SoundSoap inactive to get an idea of what kind of noise reduction it needs. This file contains a few seconds of tape hiss before the music starts. This is the perfect place to use SoundSoap's Learn Noise feature. The Learn Noise feature analyzes the various frequencies in the audio material and creates a noise profile. It also automatically sets the noise tuner and noise reduction knobs to what should be an effective setting to eliminate unwanted hiss. SoundSoap's Learn Noise feature needs about two seconds of just the unwanted noise to accurately create a noise profile. There may be times where there's not a section of two full seconds of isolated noise. In these cases, you can use the timeline's in and out point markers to loop or repeat a shorter portion of isolated noise. When using this technique, you simply set the in and out point markers near the boundaries of a short section of isolated noise, turn on loop mode, and then learn noise while playing the file in loop mode. In this example, we do have several seconds of tape hiss before the music starts, so we'll use this part to learn noise. Now we'll place the playhead at the beginning of a section that contains just noise, click the Learn Noise button, then we'll click the Play button. And after two seconds, SoundSub's broadband noise reduction turns on automatically and the hiss is dramatically reduced. We'll give it a bit more noise reduction. And now the hiss is gone completely. Let's compare before and after. Here's the original file without any noise reduction. <laughs> 